Hey everybody, and welcome back. I'm Yogi, and this is the illustrious Carrie Brown. Hello. And today we're doing a keto crate unboxing. You're hiding it. Keto this crate. is the latest keto crate, and let's see what's in the box. That's kind of the whole point. Stuff. They always send you a bunch of literature. Recipes, success stories, um, yes. Okay, this box looks really full. It is, it's back to the gills. And we're not going to eat anything, we're just going to show you what's in it. And then we will do reviews of the products separately. Why don't we get to eat anything? We never do when we do these. Oh, yeah. Did you forget? No, I'm just disappointed because I really like those. You really like these? Yes. So, sneak preview. Yogi really likes these. So, in the I actually keto supported them on Kickstarter. In the Keto Crate this month, we have Rebel Snacks. These are the Matcha Latte. And I don't know if if there's the same flavor in every keto crate or if they mixed up the flavors or not i don't know however what's in these are they keto so 14 grams of fat seven grams of total carbs made up of three grams of fiber one gram of erythritol two grams of allulose so sugar is less than a gram and three grams of protein the ingredients are Organic coconut, almonds, cashews, macadamia nuts, non-GMO allulose, organic coconut oil, organic erythritol, ceremonial green tea matcha powder. Woo! Fancy. Vanilla, sea salt, monk fruit extract. So, super clean. Super clean and, mm, are they keto? Seven grams of total carbs for two. You get six in a packet. Um, so if you're a total carber, would probably be a real treat, but for net carbers, absolutely, absolutely. All right. So we have legendary foods and they have pizza flavored almonds. All right. And what we have in here is almonds, erythritol, palm oil. Um, as garlic, onion powder, buttermilk powder, tomato powder, salt, soluble corn fiber, whey powder, high oleic sunflower oil, cheddar cheese, uh, milk cultures, enzymes, non-fat milk, ihydrous, ihydrous milk fat, autolyzed yeast extract, annatto, paprika, oleosin, Citric acid, smoke flavoring, stevioglycosides, and natural flavor. Good lord. That's yeah. a lot of ingredients for it, a bag of nuts. It really is. For this tiny little thing and nuts, you get a whole bunch of stuff in there. And as far as the servings go, this bag is one serving. So I like that when you have a one serving thing instead of having to break things up. Now, I'm trying to get to the point where I can read everything here. All right. So serving size per one container, you have 18 grams of total fat, uh, two grams of saturated fat. You have 21 gra 210 grams of uh, mi milligrams of sodium, eight grams of total carbohydrates with four grams of fiber and two grams of, of total sugars. You have one gram of erythritol and you have seven grams of protein. So the ingredients in here it does have some things that people would have some issues with like possibly whey powder or soluble corn fiber if you're trying to eat super clean keto um and the carbs if you're doing total carbs one of these would probably get you close to your your total for the day if you're doing uh, they are high in fiber though so if you're doing net carbs they, they'd be okay um 
I think I'm probably going to pass on those, but we'll, we'll taste them in our review. We'll taste them and, and, and see what we think. So, pizza. Pizza flavoured nuts with a staggering number of ingredients. So, I have Cheddar Believe It Moon Cheese. Crunchy bites of golden delight with 14 grams of fat, 1 gram of carbs, 11 grams of protein ingredients, cheddar cheese, pasteurized milk, cheese culture, salt enzymes, and natto, which is vegetable color. All keto, all the time. Yay! Yay! All right. So right now we have Nush Pineapple Mango Cake. Um, on the front it says has one gram of sugar and four grams of net carbs. So for the size of this, that's actually pretty low net carbs. Let's see what the serving size are. Alright. So for one package, it's one cake. Again, I like that one size, one pack thing. Um, it has 13 grams of fat, 6 grams of saturated fat, 70 grams of, or milligrams of cholesterol, 260 milligrams of sodium, the total carb on this is 19 grams. So this would hit your limit and possibly a little bit beyond if you're a total carver. It only has four grams of fiber. So when they're saying on the front they have net carbs, they're not actually very honest with that because if you have simple carbohydrates, that's going to be turning into sugar when you eat it. Okay. I didn't go on the ingredients. Oh, okay. So sorry, I, I I keep forgetting that this is only what's in the box and not so product review. Ingredients: We have water, organic flax, organic erythritol, organic coconut oil, egg, organic natural flavors, organic glycerin, pineapple, mango, mango, leavening, sodium acid and phosphorus, bicarb sodium bicarbonate. Sea salt, organic rosemary extract, sunflower lecithin, and monk fruit extract. So, and it also contains egg. The ingredients are fairly clean. So, it could be a once in a while treat, possibly, if it tastes decent. It will be good to know how it tastes when we get to that part. Okay, so, I got a Beelin Bars with Benefits, and it's a Jimmy... Protein bar, macadamia nut, high fats, low net carbs, grain and gluten free. Let's see what it says. I'm excited to taste this. I've never tried one of these. Um, unfortunately, really difficult to read. Oh. Uh, ingredients, peanuts, tapioca fiber syrup. Some of you are going to have a proper issue with that. Macadamia nuts, whey protein, dark chocolate, coating chocolate. Uh, liquor, erythritol, inulin, cocoa butter, soy lecithin, some of you have an issue with that, vanilla, uh, almonds, coconut oil. So there's a couple of ingredients in there that a few of you might, for, for you it might put it in the non-keto side of the house. It's got 16 grams of fat, 15 grams of total carbs, so for total carbs that probably puts it out of play to you too. Dietary fiber of 11 grams and total sugars of 2 grams and 9 grams of protein. So you get to try a Jimmy bar this month. I'm excited to taste that. Although um, there's a couple of ingredients in there that some of you may disqualify as being keto. So we got another bar and it's called a Stoka bar. Birthday cake flavor. Uh, on the front it says 4 grams of net carbs, 9 grams of protein. Um, serving size, again, one bar. Somebody must be uh, paying attention. <laughs> so, amount of calories per serving, 250. Total fat, 22 grams. Saturated, saturated fat, 2 grams. Uh, no trans fat. Sodium, 60 milligrams. Total carbs, 18 grams. 6 grams of fiber, total sugar is 2 grams, added sugar is 0, sugar alcohol is 8 grams, protein 9 grams. Wow. Cal um, calcium, iron, doesn't really list it. Okay. These, so These commercial treats really are hard for the total carbers. They really are. And uh, it, 
you know so if you're a net carb even if you're a net carver though these would be more of a once in a while thing because they are pretty steep and you can kill your total carb allowance with just one of these treats half the time so ingredients almonds erythritol stoka rainbow sprinkles which is erythritol soluble corn fiber palm kernel oil natural colors inulin natural flavor sea salt guar gum sunflower lecithin and stevia extract so not a whole lot of ingredients in here there are some questionable like the corn fiber a lot of people want to avoid uh, corn altogether in the keto diet and uh, so that's where that is but yeah it's it's pretty high in carbs for the small amount that it is okay i have some also in the box this month please oh, this box feels really full this month um high a lot key, of snack atmosphere high key mini cookies so these are chocolate chip which probably means they make more than one flavor um let's see Okay, so the ingredients are almond flour, natural sweetener, which they say is erythritol monk fruit extract, and mogroside 5, no idea what that is, Sounds stevia chemical. extract, chocolate chips, unsweetened chocolate, erythritol cocoa butter, stevia extract, sunflower lecithin, coconut oil, butter, prebiotic fiber, dried eggs, vanilla extract, baking powder, hydrolyzed collagen, sea salt, xanthan gum, guar gum. So these are actually really clean. Except for the ingredient, we don't know what it is, we can't make a joke. Oh, actually, oh, I think, going back on this, I think that's the kind of the technical name for monk fruit extract. Ah, okay, so very so, clean. So, um, really clean, and for, there's two servings, so you can eat half a packet which they say is about six pieces so there's about a dozen cookies in there so for half of this packet tap fat is 13 grams total carbs is 11 of which two is dietary fiber and seven is erythritol and then three grams of protein so again if you're a total carber these are going to be a hit for you or rather a hit to your carb count um, if you're a if you're a net carber, these are great. These were fine. And super clean ingredients too. So yay for that. What we got here? So we got crispy cuts. Parmesan peppercorn. I haven't seen that brand before. I have not either. And let's find out what's in it here. So I'm not exactly sure what these are. Are these pork rinds? Okay, they're pork rinds. All right, so we have fried pork skins, grated Parmesan cheese, uh, spices, and salt, dehydrated garlic. So clean ingredients. And so just an aside is that a lot of pork rinds do not have clean ingredients, and it's it, it yeah you can be really tricked up on pork rinds. Yeah, sometimes they throw in sugars and and things with the spice uh, uh, mixtures that they use. Um, a lot of them use a lot of chemicals, and a lot of them for some reason will fry in like a vegetable oil or, or soy oil um, instead of the natural fat that comes with the pork to make them crunchy, which totally, if you're trying to eat really clean, just totally destroys it. Okay, So please continue. We have two servings per container. Yeah, right. <laughs> and we have six grams of, of total fat, two grams of saturated fat, Cholesterol is 15 milligrams, sodium is 130 milligrams, total carbo carbohydrates, one gram, um, and protein is seven grams. So these would fit right in with a keto diet. You're not going to really take a card hit on that whatsoever. Okay. Now, I, we still haven't got to the bottom of the camera. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11 things in here. Okay. Let's see what we've got. Oh, okay. Here's the box, which is really good. So I have... Huevos, which are like Huevos. chips, but they're made with avocado oil. Apparently, they're keto friendly. This is sour cream and onion flavor. So, if these are good, when we do the review, these are mine. It's all right, I'll keep the pork rinds. Um, 
Yeah, Capricorn. Yeah, I'll take these. Quavos. Um, sour cream and onion. So let's see what's in them. Good lord, these things get smaller every time in the package is shiny. You need shiny. to get like a big magnifying glass <laughs> or like to sit up here. Hey! But the bag's shiny, that doesn't help. Egg whites. Ghee. Ghee? Really? Wow. Milk protein. Inulin. Some of you will have a problem with that. Coconut oil, seasoning blend, modified tapioca starch. Some of you will have a problem with that. Salt. Oh, sugar. Yay. Hello, sugar. Onion powder, natural flavor, spicy citric acid, yeast extract, garlic powder, avocado oil, chia seeds. Contains less than 7% of psyllium husk, sunflower, lecithin, flax seeds. So there's definitely a few ingredients in there that some of you may choose to exclude from your diet. From a keto standpoint, there's one bag, there's one serving. Yay! Uh, total fat, 10 grams. Total carbs, 8 grams, of which 4 is dietary fiber protein eight grams so for a net carber who doesn't mind tiny amounts of nefarious ingredients um you'd be totally fine with a bag of these uh total carbers again eight grams total carbs that's um that's a lot on a little bag of chips but but yeah that's it i'm excited to taste them even though I wouldn't eat them on a regular basis. So what do we got here? All right, dang. We got dang. That's what we got. All right, so we got sweet, toasty, and crunchy dang coconut chips. Chips, tropical mango. We got a, we got a very tropical box. This yes, maybe month. they're they're trying to pray to the summer gods to come. <laughs> All right, so in this bag. We have three servings. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. Um, and uh, we have 17 grams of total fat, um, cholesterol none, 120 milligrams of sodium. Total carbs is 11 grams per serving. That means there's 33 grams in that packet? Yep, 32 wow. it says right here because down on the back we have oh, the, the, the total, the total the... for the whole bag and then four per serving. So that's a good way. So if you eat the whole bag, you know what you're getting. Um, so sodium, we have 120 milligrams for a serving or 360 for the whole bag. Total carbs are 11 grams, 32 grams for the whole bag. Um, dietary fiber is 6 grams, 17 grams for the whole bag. Total sugar is 1 gram per serving, 4 grams for the whole bag. Um, and 2 grams of protein per serving, 5 grams for the whole bag. The ingredients are coconut, mango juice, sea salt, citric acid, natural mango flavor, beta carotene for color, a natto extract for color, Luhan Guo, monk fruit, uh, extract, and stevia. So the, the, the ingredients are actually very clean on this. It is high in carbs. If you're a total carver, this is really pushing the boundaries. Um, if you're a net carver and you stay within that serving size, then you'll be okay. And item number 11 in this month's box is... Sausage. A Sweetwood Smokehouse Fatty Original Smoked Meat Stick, which Sausage. we will share when we come to do the reviews. Anyway, made with grass-fed beef, yay. Pork raised without antibiotics, yay. No nitrites, no MSG, gluten-free. One ounce. And... Pork raised without antibiotics, grass-fed beef, sea salt, sugar, encapsulated citric acid, cultured celery powder, celery powder and sea salt, pepper, garlic powder in coloured 
collagen casing. So, but I don't have anything else on that. So I would imagine from looking at billions of these similar products before that the sugar is negligible. Um, and so this is basically just going to be probably, I don't know, 70 fat versus 30 protein or something like that. But it doesn't actually say. Usually in that size, they come in a big box and yeah. then they'll have the rest of the information on the box. Yeah. Anyway, but this does have sugar in it. So this will, for people who are, who are hardcore, even though, of course, that amount of sugar wouldn't put you out of ketosis, so it's still keto, but if sugar is an ingredient that you wouldn't have, then that's not for you either. So I think we were about 50-50. Yeah. Hardcore keto versus yeah, keto, so. but not for everybody. Yeah, there, there's definitely some stuff that are pushing the boundaries, as usual. Um, They're still keto, yeah. but some of the ingredients are... And well, I'm not sure this would be. Yeah, and generally, too, I always recommend people stay with whole real foods, and the closer you get to whole real foods, some of the ingredients in here would hit that, that thing, whole real foods in the ingredients, and they're okay. Um, but when it comes to especially a lot of the sweet snacks and stuff, the, there's stuff that you should treat just like it was junk food that you were eating really. Like you get a candy bar, a once in a while thing, nice snack, you know, once in every one, blue moon, but not all the time. Anyway, if you want to get your own keto crate, because I love getting, actually we both do, we love getting the keto crate because we love seeing what's inside and there's some things that... I have not seen at all ever or tried so I'm always super excited to try new things and for me one of the great things about Keto Crate uh, is that you only have to buy one like you don't have to buy an outer you don't and of course the cost if you bought all these in a retail environment it will cost you a lot more than the box this gets shipped to us and we get to try new things and figure out what we would like to continue purchasing or if or what to steer clear of when, when we see it out in the wild. So um, that's that. If you want your own keto crate, there is a link in the description. And if you use that link and the coupon code, you will get 15% off your first purchase. So you can try a keto crate for yourself. And although, you know, although some of these things are not things we would eat before, I, I just, I, I love to know. I love seeing the new things that are coming out. I like tasting them. I I just enjoy that. But I also love knowing um, what what I do want to buy versus not. You know, when you see it on Amazon or you see it in the store, you know, do I want that? I don't know. And I don't want to buy a whole outer. So I really love this. But also things like I, I love this because I find things, products that I would probably have never found in the store like these. And I really want to support people that make really, really great products like these Revel Snacks. I and, actually and, supported them on Kickstarter. I was one of the first people to get theirs. And um, so that's another reason why I like getting the Keto Crank because it means that I find products that I wouldn't find before. And it means that I can support small local companies or small businesses that are really trying to help out in the keto space like these folks are. So that's all the reasons why I like getting the keto crate. If you want, want your own, hit the link, use the discount because everybody likes saving money. And make sure to when you uh, when you watch the video that you like, uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, comment below. It really helps us out. And then we will do a review of each one of these products separately. So if there's one of these that you particularly want to look out for, check all our other product reviews so that you can hear what we think of them when we rip that packet open. All right, everybody. Have a great day.